Alright guys, welcome back to a brand new scripting tutorial. And in today's video, actually we're going to be doing GUI is what I'm saying, but also might script, I'm not sure. But anyways, in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys about UI constraints and UI layouts. If you don't know what those are, then that is okay, because that's why you're watching this video. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, anyways, let's go ahead and start. Alright, so first things first, uh, if you haven't watched my other GUI tutorials, definitely should go watch those first. They make a lot, they're gonna, you know, it kind of builds up each other. So, um, yeah, definitely go watch those. Uh, it's a whole series. Uh, this is episode six, on it, I think. So, yeah, anyways, uh, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is insert a screen GUI into our starter GUI. All right, so that's how you make GUIs. And then we're gonna go ahead and insert a frame. And then we'll go ahead and click on this little plus, and you can see here all of the UI layouts and UI constraints we have available. And there actually might be some more down here, but no, I don't think so. I don't know, there's one right there. Okay. Um, but yes, the, that, that, though, that's what it is. So basically what these are is their constraints, right? So what do constraints do in real life? They like put a certain thing on something. So that's what these do as well. Okay. So let me go ahead and show you an example of what one does. Uh, well, for this example, we'll go ahead and use a grid layout cause they're pretty cool. Um, like for example, let's say you had a shop, right? And then you had another frame or you also had a text button. Okay in your shop and this was called right there this this is called um you know like okay it's, it's a grocery store but on a gui all right that could be called wait let me make change the background a little bit and then let me go ahead and change the text uh to cheese okay well you can just buy cheese in this grocery store all right now what you could do um wait, wait sorry sorry all right but what you could do is um like you see like this you could delete paste move it over paste move it over paste move it over and let's say you had like a bunch of these right now you have to go through and change all these all right so this is actually ham this is bread you get what i'm saying right Let, let's say you didn't want to do all that all right that, that's too much work to like put them all like that you use the grid layout and what's going to happen is it's going to put it just like that instantly now you probably want to configure it a bit which is why it has properties but as you can see that's pretty cool like right away it literally does that that is that's awesome and um you have things like cell padding which cell padding as you can see between the property it's like the padding between the two um uis right so that's what that is um and then on that's on the x-axis because if you keep pasting them oh wait, wait let me um here Okay, watch what happens if I keep pasting them. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I just copied them all. I, I press click and then shift click up in this one, and then press control C, and then actually if you press control shift V, it'll paste into the frame or whatever you selected. So I'm gonna keep pasting them. Oh, oh, I messed that up. I messed that one up. <laughs> um, sorry about that. Okay, into the frame, into the frame, into the frame, into the frame, and now you see it, it even goes down already. That's like it's so cool to me. Like it's awesome. But anyways, um. There's properties you can change, right? Like, look at that. It, that just that's awesome. It, it, no scripting required. Easy, easy, easy. Lemon squeezy. Anyways, so um, you know, the padding, you can put padding on the bottom. So let's say you wanted, you know, a little bit more space in between. So there we go, like that on different rows. So that's kind of cool. And then this is how you change the size. Okay, so you use the offset. So you go ahead and do. Um, I want like a hundred. Uh, you know, let's say I want. I want it to be a rectangle, so I want 150 on the x-axis and then 90 on the y, all right? And then, you know what I'm saying, I can scale the frame out a little bit more, make it make it fit properly, make it look a little nicer. But as you can see, it's cool. It's really cool. Um, but yeah, I also have things like the fill direction. So if you don't want it to go horizontal, you can actually make it fill vertical first. So what that does, here, let me delete most of these. Uh, what that's going to do is it's going to fill down and not up or not to the right sorry or not to the you know not not horizontal so verticals up and down and then horizontals left and right and then you got max direction that you want um so let's say we only want two in in like a row now we have it now it's going to put it on this on the third on the second row now so yeah it's pretty cool um so yeah if we put one then obviously there's only one cell per um per per row yeah so that's pretty cool. And then you got the alignment. So you want it to be the middle. Do you want it to be on the right? Do you want it to be on the left? Uh, by default, on the left, obviously. And then you got sort order, um, which is basically sort order is like the way it's laid out here, right? So you can see that this one was the top one's left most, 
the the middle one's middlemost and the right one or sorry bottom or middle one yeah and the bottom one's rightmost it's basically what it's doing is it, it's going by layout order so you change its name and then I do um, a well that's already a let me change that one to a that should change now you see because I because it's going by alphabetical order you see how that changed because I changed it to um, now it's bread, cheese, and ham. It's already in alphabetical order, actually, um, by the text, I suppose. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. Anyways, uh, let's see what else do we have. Top. Oh yeah, where you want it to start? Wait. Okay, there you go. So how do you want it to go? That makes sense. And then vertical alignment, middle, bottom, top. Right, makes sense. That's pretty much grid layout for the most part pretty simple but pretty cool at the same time um, I think it's it's pretty pretty sweet uh, anyways there's another, another thing I want to show you let's go ahead and get rid of the layout uh, okay so what else do we have that we can we can show I'm not gonna show all of them because there's a lot and I want to waste your time um, if you want to go deep into them I recommend you do that we can learn it um, but if you don't want to you know what I'm saying I guess you don't have to <laughs> um, anyways all right I just go ahead and I, I went ahead and insert a oh also I probably should explain this um, whatever, okay, so for certain things, right, like, it depends which, but, like, the you're maybe wondering, like, where do you place the list UI to make it actually make that list? Well, you just put it in the frame, right, or sorry, the tape, wait, the table, wait, no, we did a list, yeah, we did a list, I think, I think I just showed you the list, right, yes, anyways, um, wait a minute, no, I didn't, I just showed you something else. I showed you the grid. My bad, my bad. Yeah, there's a grid, table, and a list. They're all pretty similar, um, but I'll show you all in a second. But anyways, that's the grid. But anyways, where you place it is it's place it inside the frame, and then any siblings, so anything on the same like indent, is going to be affected by it. So, yeah. Anyways, um, now I'm going to go ahead and insert a gradient. This is actually a very new feature. It just came out recently, I'm pretty sure. I thought it was you had to do like beta to get it, but... I don't know. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> Anyways, so if you go ahead and insert a gradient into your frame or wherever you want it, you can go ahead and actually click um, on the color and click these little three dots. And if you guys don't know what gradients are, maybe you've never used Photoshop before, but basically it's like a um, it's like a color face another color. All right, that's what it is. So for the first color, we'll do a blue. All right, and now you can already see it's if I apply the gradient, but it fades to a white. All right, so it just kind of mixes. Um, so yeah, that's what that's what a gradient is. Um, so yeah, and you can choose any color you want it to mix to. Sometimes, like you know what I'm saying, like sometimes, like okay, so let's say you have a this isn't blue, is it? I'm colorblind. Sorry guys. <laughs> okay, let's say you have a blue right here, okay, and then you know you mix it to like a like a lighter blue. Sometimes, even though it's like a subtle gradient, it can look really nice. You know what I'm saying? So um, you know, sometimes you may you may not even be able to tell it's a gradient here. But like it, it does look really nice um, sometimes. I think at least. Anyways, that's what gradient is, and then you have to insert that one wherever you want it to be, um, and then it'll affect the parent of that. So yeah, I'm surprised it's not a property to be honest. Um, but maybe one day it will be. I don't know. But for now, it's a UI constraint. Okay. So next we have a few things like padding. So this is like how you want it to pad, obviously. <laughs> Um, I, I think you have to use this with a table, or sorry, with a like with a certain thing. Wait a minute, it's affecting it definitely, but don't know how. I've never used this one to be honest with you guys. I'm not like a UI pro. I won't lie, I am not a UI pro in any way. But I do know the basics, and that's what I'm teaching you. <laughs> um, so yeah, okay. And then you have things like table layout, and as you can see, that just made um, it disappear. Like I said, not really too sure what's going on with this one, but, huh, interesting. Okay, um, what else do we have? I think that honestly the most important one is grid or list. List is like the same thing. They're, they're, they're honestly all kind of similar, but um, it does kind of like the same thing, but it doesn't let you change the cell size. Um, so that's, uh, you have to kind of just make it like your own and then it doesn't affect the size of the cell because you see like this one they can be different but then if I put the grid in what's gonna happen is it's gonna affect it and change the size too and not just the position so yeah that is, that's the difference between list and, and grids I guess and then tables I still don't understand I don't really know what's going on there um, but something is apparently okay uh, also you can use things like size constraints uh, that's a pretty simple one uh, size constraint 
you know, you can probably already assume what that does. It, it affects its size. So let's see. Okay, so currently the max size is by default set to infinite, but if we set that to 25, 25, it's inserted, it's, it's a child of the frame, but we'll go ahead and put it in the text button. But as you can see, that text button right there now is maxed at that size. Now, you might be thinking, well, why would you use that? You might as well just change the size of the, of the, of the text button itself. But sometimes, you know, they change sometimes, like whenever you're scripting them, and you don't want them to be a certain size. So they're actually pretty useful. This, this thing is, is pretty useful. Um, but anyways, you can see that you can't even change the size now because it's um, influenced by the UI size constraint. So that's kind of cool. Anyways, uh, so that's what that does. And then you can obviously assume what UI's text, UI text constraint does. It just affects the text, right? So um, currently we have it on set to scaled. Oh, but it still works. Um, but yeah, as you can see, that's what that is. Um, let me change the actual text button. Okay, well, it takes a while to update, which is kind of weird. But as you can see, it does work, sort of. You can also even set the minimum text size, which is pretty cool too. Uh, and you can do the same thing with that US size constraint. You can set minimum and maximum. So yeah, uh, what else? Text size. Oh, I, I do want to go over viewport frames soon. Um, I'm not sure. It won't be like it'll be for a few tutorials because it's it's honestly kind of advanced, um, but it's really cool. It basically means you can like you can like see stuff through another camera in a GUI. Pretty much is the simplest way to explain it. But yeah. Anyways, I, I'll, I'll go over that soon. Don't worry. Um, and then yeah that's pretty much it uh, like i said guys i'm not gonna go over every single one um but as you can see you can even have things like scale and you can change the scale on, on proportionally yeah i don't know i don't use this one ever but you know what i'm saying you might so i'm not gonna go over all the ones i don't know i'm not gonna act like i know them but yeah all right guys that's pretty much it hope you enjoyed the video if you did like always leave a like subscribe and um yeah i hope you i hope you enjoyed this the gui tutorial series so far um, a lot of people like scripting more. It seems like my fan base, but I guess that makes sense because all I ever did was script. But don't worry, guys. I like scripting more too. Trust me, I I definitely do. I, I like scripting way more. Um, but we'll be back to that very soon. And don't worry. Also, leave. Okay, so I, I want to do like some like simulator. I want to do like a simulator tutorial series, like making a simulator from scratch. So like leave a leave a like a simulator idea in the in the comments below. All right, and like. I, when I say that, I mean like I want to like not only make the game, but like like make it from like a blank base plate, right? Like from scratch, I want to make the UIs together. I want to make all the 3D models together. I want to do like the ads, like even like literally marketing your game, putting game passes, thinking of good like game pass ideas. You get what I'm saying? Like I'm trying to do like everything. You get what I'm saying? So it'll be fun. Trust me. And you guys can even publish it yourself if you want. It probably won't be that great um, if you, you know, just copy it. But <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You can't. I don't care. Um, but when we do that. So yeah, that'll be coming soon after the GUI series is done, most likely. Um, but yeah. All right. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Next is, um, I think I'll be doing build, no, scrolling frames. Yep. All right. Have fun.